you know we had to immediately set up the DRS, the Distress Response Squad. And then we went on to commence the installation of CCTV across our metropolis. And today we're almost 80% done. In a few weeks, we're going to be commissioning what is going to be the most modern command and control center. And we're going to have a line of sight of what is happening in our state. In Ozoa and Inugrugu, we're currently working with the Navy to establish a Navy base there. In Isuzu, where we have some dark spots, we're also working with the Army to set up a military barracks there, an Army barracks there. And the way we've seen the challenges in the water sector, we're treating it like a martial law now we've declared a state of emergency there as you know so we're working day and night to make sure that we get that water to the last mile in all the households here in Enugu metropolis you may have noticed that there's work currently going on on the international conference center in few months the conference center will become functional People we want to come here and set up their business. And we know that we have to make transportation easy for them, whether by flight or road, we get involved. So which is why we are working currently with the Federal Ministry of Aviation to operationalize the international wing of our airport. So we're expecting very soon to have not just the international wing of the airport working or functional, but we're also expecting to have the cargo terminal, which is something we're working with other private sector investments. We will not accept that there will be a road in our metropolis that is not paved. So, we <laughs> so we're currently working on 81 of those roads in the city and we're also currently working about 10 roads in our rural areas. But again, our objective is to make sure that we have a road project going on across all the wards. So I have instructed my team to make sure they scope all the roads that we've, we're going to identify a road project in each ward. Our objective is to make sure that we achieve a minimum of 10 kilometers of road in each ward. We are currently constructing the smart schools across the 260 wards. We've awarded the contract for 135. So in 135 wards today, those smart school projects are ongoing. We're building currently 260 primary health level two primary health care centers. And this again will be across the entire 260 wards in Enugu State. Already awarded the contract of uh, 30, and we're just about to award additional 100. And then by the, before the end of this year, we would be sure to have the entire 260 type 2 primary health care centers across all our wards. Of course, if you allow us to go on to talk about the different sector we have intervened, I'm not sure three hours will be enough for me to talk about them.